Hello friends, I hope everyone's doing well. So today we'll be playing as the Unknown. This killer is slowly becoming one of my favorite killers. He's such a joy to play. I highly recommend trying him out if you haven't given him a try. He's such a fun killer, just take it slow. If his ability is a little intimidating, that's okay. Just try your best and have fun with it. So as usual, we're playing two trials. The first trial is going to be on Cold Tower, and the second trial will be on Toba Landing. One cool thing about the Unknown that's really nice is that most maps that are pretty difficult for killer can be okay with him, just because he's able to teleport across the map and get some distance and stuff like that. And he has a really good ability to assist him in that with his UVX. It is a ranged ability. It works in similar to Nemesis, how it comes with, to his infection, and also a Huntress hatchet, like with throwing. So basically, you hit a survivor with the UVX, they become weakened, and then if you hit him again with the UVX, it will injure them. Moving on to the trials themselves, they're very fun, survivors did great, our build worked out really well too. I think honestly these two trials were overall pretty solid on both sides, and I really hope you enjoy this one. With that being said, let's talk about our build. So the build I'm bringing today is Unforeseen, Pop Goes a Weasel, Nowhere to Hide, and Rap Brutality. A lot of generator kicking perks. So to start, we have Unforeseen. Any single time that we kick a generator, and the Unforeseen is not on cooldown, a 32 meter terror radius will be transferred onto that generator for 30 seconds. And we will gain the undetectable status effect, meaning we don't have a terror radius or red stain, until the 30 seconds is up. Then the perk itself will be on cooldown for 30 more seconds. Unforeseen is a really good perk. Being undetectable by any means necessary is extremely good. And also, this perk does not tell survivors that this is happening. Like Trail of Torment, it tells them which generator has Terrell Torment active on. This doesn't do anything, so you have no idea what's going on until, you know, you run towards a generator that has a terror radius when you know that the killer is somewhere else. It's by far one of the unknown's best perks. It is so good, and just in general for any killer, this is such a good perk. This perk also pairs well with Pop Goes a Weasel. Any single time we hook a survivor for the next 45 seconds after we kick a gen, the gen that we kicked will instantly lose 30% of its progress, then begin to regress. And the reason why both these perks work really well together is because any single time we kick a gen, if we have both these perks active, we can now make a gen regress a lot of percentage, and then we can also be undetectable for a short bit. And we have another perk, Nowhere to Hide, to also help us out when it comes to kicking gens. After kicking a generator within 24 meters of the killer's position, you can see the auras of all survivors for 5 seconds. This is an extremely good perk for the unknown. Let's say you kick a gen, there's a survivor behind a wall, kind of hiding. You can use your UVX, because it does go through walls, to hit that survivor or either infect them or, you know, damage them. This is also just a really good info perk. Let's say a survivor that's nearby is on the gen, they got off it to walk away because they know you're heading over to them. You can kick it, get a good information on like where they're going or where they are, and just either continue chase immediately or, um, or end it if they're injured. If we're able to use pop or use unforeseen on any generator, nowhere to hide will also proc as well. So these perk, if we manage to pop a gen, have nowhere to hide activate and unforeseen, it's pretty strong altogether. You get to regress a gen, get information, and you're able to scare survivors that don't know where you are because your terror is gone, essentially. And our final perk, which doesn't really have any effect on the other perks, is Rapid Brutality. After we hit a survivor with a basic attack, we will gain 5% haste for 10 seconds. Very strong perk, and the reason why I bring this is because the UVX, if you're able to just get in front of a survivor, it's unlike Nemesis, where you can keep the infection for a long period of time until they cleanse. They're going to be cleansing a lot just by looking at you. So if you have to hit with them with a the basic attack, it's pretty good either way, because you're going to gain that little bit of haste, a little bit of boost. And I think it's really good for the unknown. As an example, let's say a survivor is kind of like, kind of trying to dodge a UVX, but they get very close to you. Let's say you hit him with a UVX, you go out of the animation of shooting a UVX, you hit him with your basic attack, you basically have a speed boost. And this adds more pressure to the survivor, because now they have to run away while they're infected and they're injured. So it gives you a, a lot better chance to catch up to them while you're holding out your UVX. This can kind of help you, like, get around corners quicker, just so you're able to shoot your UVX so the survivor doesn't make it to, like, the other side of the, of the loop that you're on. Or just in general, if they say they just run straight, you're able to catch back up to them and not have to make such a risky shot. I just think this perk works really well when it comes to just using your ability and also just using with a basic attack as well because he is a basic attack killer minus his UVX. Also, if we're wondering what the UVX is, that's his ability. That's the name of it. So sorry if I keep calling it that or if you're just a little bit confused. That's the name of his ability, which is UVX. So those are our perks, now let's talk about our add-ons. The add-ons I'm bringing today is the blurry photo and the sketch attempt. Before I get into the add-ons, so the unknown, what I call it, farts out a, uh, a hallucination, which the unknown can teleport to. After teleporting, you're kind of slowed down just for a little bit, because there is no animation like Demogorgon or Alien, you just immediately teleport, you're, you're just there. So it's kind of like to, like, you know, numify his ability, because it's very strong. And the blurry photo numifies that slowdown speed by 50%. It's very useful. This isn't one of his add-ons that he like he needs to like be playable or just be enjoyable, like Map of the Realm is on the Knight or Riku's or old Riku's watch on Sadako. Still a very useful add-on, and I like to use his browns because I want to get to know his ability just by itself and not rely on his strongest add-ons all the time. I don't like doing that. I much prefer just to get to know the killer, just kind of like almost base kit essentially, but I do like to help myself out just a little bit. And that's what the sketch attempt does. After hitting a survivor with UVX, they become oblivious for 20 seconds. Let's say you're like in a jungle gym, a TL wall, or like a main building, somewhere that just has like a lot of like tall walls or like safe windows, you know, stuff you can mind game around. 
having them be oblivious can help you, you know, mind game them more, that or pull off some things that you won't be able to if they knew exactly where you were with your red stain. It can kind of help you catch survivors off guard. And yeah, that's our build. Sorry if this was a, a kind of a long intro. I did want to talk about the unknown a lot more than I normally do when it comes to new killers, because I kind of want to give a kind of a basis of to how he's played and stuff like that. I'm sure almost everyone knows how to play against him and as him, just because it has been a minute since uh, since he has been out. But for those who haven't, I really hope I uh, explain this well and hope you're able to understand kind of how he works and I hope the gameplay can kind of show off how he can be played. And going back to our build, I think the perks work out really well. We have the Unforeseen to help him out with catching survivors off guard and even hitting them with a the UVX before they have time to react, make it pretty easy for you to down them after that. We have Pop for regression, nowhere to hide, so we can get information on where survivors are. And also we have Rapid Brutality to help us out with our ability and just to keep up in chase. We also have the Blurry Photo to help us out with teleporting, and then we have a Scratch Attempt to help us out with keeping survivors oblivious and them not knowing where I am just to catch them off guard and to hit them more with our UVX. Alrighty, sorry if I was talking too fast in that part, or just in general, I hope I was able to be coherent in this one. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoy. Alrighty, cool tower. Dang, I like the blood surrounding the unknown. Looks cool. Oh, I already spawned next to one. So wait, how does this work? So I touch it, and then I... deposit. Oh, that's a weird button to do that. Okay, so I did it. Um... Okay. I have no clue how this event works at all. I'm just trying to have fun. Hello. Who is this? Looks like Nia. Somebody up here? Hello. Are you doing this fine evening? I see what she was trying to do there. Uh, it doesn't look like Lythe. Oh, actually, does, actually. Please, Nia, I need help. I'm very hurt. Emotionally and physically. Try to get some achievement progress for that. Good start so far. And these things are everywhere. So I think this makes it where like I have like say the best for last essentially. Did I see somebody? I did. Hi, Meg. That was a mistake, my friend. It's okay, it happens. Ooh, life. So drop it. Climb at me. Which way is she going? She's not looking back. Good job. Caught her off guard a little bit. This will be a hit. Good try. Hello, brother. Let's break this. Please, Meg. I have not seen my dog in quite some days. I really do like the voice acting of the uh, unknown. Hi. There's actually nobody here. Somebody out here, though. Ooh, that was close. I'm trying to just deposit as much blood as I can. I don't know. I'm trying to hit a generator that doesn't have any progress. Ooh, what's that? That was the unhook. Can I see anyone? Hi, Meg. Let's just get a normal. Actually, should I bolt it. I think we can hit her here. Good job. Try to get break line of sight. Very good. Come here, friend. Okay, our park's about to end, which is okay. Uh, let's teleport back to main building. Anybody here? Does not look like it. Let's go check over here then. Oh, I do see, uh, Miss Ward. Hello. Can I hit her with this? Yep. I knew. Not too sure if that was wise, my friend. Very good. I don't think Nia plays too much against the unknown. Uh, whenever you're playing against the unknown, kind of 
don't really hug walls too much. It's very uh, unsafe for you to do so. Yeah, I can hear your leather moving on your clothes. That's really cool. Thought I heard movement. Ooh, we missed. It's okay. Okay, let's kick this. She is... Was that life? I really cannot, honestly, could not tell. Hi. Pretty sure I scared her a little bit. Hmm, let's see. She stays here, that would be very unwise, because we can teleport in just about a second. I thought we need it. Ooh. I wonder if you could see what I was trying to do there. Let's pick up. I don't think they have flashlights. I haven't seen them try it yet. That uh, that voice line is kind of bugged a little bit. I never actually heard the full fullness of that one. They're doing very well, by the way. Honestly. Um, he's already healed. Oh, there she is. I was very lucky we got that hit, if I'm being completely honest. Let's see. Oh, they're trying. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm, uh, what's it called? It's one of, um, Serena's perks. Off the, off the record. I think it looks in the wrong direction. I think we're good. I don't know if they have flashlights. I really wasn't paying attention. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you get... I didn't know you get that from people doing that. Sorry, Neil. Well played. Honestly. She didn't hug the wall. Good for her. Oh, she vaulted. Meg, I need some help, please. I'm very hurt. Have you seen my neck? I suck. As well. Okay, um, I have an idea. Ooh, there's actually nobody here. This was a waste of time. That's okay. Meg's over there by my by that. Let me see if we can... Oh, yep, this was worth it. Ooh, maybe if we had the bouncing out on, we would hit her. Is she going for the rescue? I think so. Uh, the other Meg. I lost her. Oh, that's a bird. Okay, we'll just pick her up. Not that big of a deal. If she finishes a gen, I'll know where she is, so. Uh, she healed? She did a med kit, right? I think she did. Um, let's go kick this gen. Yeah, but I hear progress on that one, so this is the only one that I know has progress. And then we can teleport back to the shack. How much points do you get for depositing? With depositing? 500. Nobody here? Um... I don't see anyone here either. The blood makes me think it's like, uh, um, scratch marks. Okay, she's up. Meg is still not up yet, so I'm not too sure where she is. They don't know where I am. Hope they got her up. Ooh, I should have shot in a little bit earlier and a little bit more to the left. I forgot you had life. Meg is healing herself. If I had sloppy, that would have been great. She has sprint burst, by the way. Yeah, that was not going to hit. It's okay. Oh, where's she going? I need to stop trying to use my ability. Right here, I can use it, though. Because she's very close. Well, that was weird. The animation kind of freaked out there a little bit. Probably because she's slowed. Can I infect you, at least? Sweet. 
you up, let's hook you, and then, um, I don't know where to go. Hmm. Let's check here, and then I'll, I'll teleport to that one. No. Ooh, I hit the tree. It's a little hard to aim, at least personally it is. Oh, hi, Nia. Or, sorry, Meg, you're not Nia. Here, spin burst, right? Good job, you got rid of it. So, Ward will go for the rescue, which he just did, and then this Meg is making mistakes by looking at turning around. It's a little hard to, you really have to like pay attention to where you're going against the unknown as well. Very nice. I got some practice with him. I really do like him a lot. He's very fun. Hello, brother. Uh, let's see. I can hook here, I can kick the pallet. I think you're dead on hook, aren't you? Well played, Meg, honestly. I appreciate you. Nice, Meg. Honestly, Meg, it's, it's quite beautiful. It's called my neck hole. Where did you go? I could just kick this. I think I hear her. There she is. I must have scared her at least a little bit. Good job. That was definitely me being greedy there. But that's okay. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get his achievement progress, so honestly, that is my fault. I really should be focusing on actually just playing the game normally as him. But honestly, I'm having fun. We're doing very well, too. We're not doing bad at all. This really helped me shoot Dull back. Uh, oh, there she is. Jeez, Meg, you made some distance. I forgot you had Lithe, right? I think you had the Lithe one. Ooh, that almost hit her. Somebody over here. <laughs> I really do like his lines. They're really cool. Okay, let's go back to Meg. We'll just hook her. Got a little bit greedy for a 4K, but, you know, it's okay. We're doing very well anyways. I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Um, I'm not too sure how the blood pool things work for Killer. I think I read it correctly, but I, honestly, I could be wrong. Well played, Meg. Honestly, well played. Uh, let's go here. <laughs> I need help. Somebody. Anybody. Oh, I actually heard it. I'm sorry, Miss Ward. Good luck to you. Oh, these doors are awful. Okay. To her. She gave me the med kit, which has not happened in a long time. I haven't had a survivor give me offer me a trade deal of survival for their life. Wow! Holy crap, look at those points. Sorry for the for the over enthusiastic. Holy crap. Over enthusiastic action. I don't know what I meant to say. Wow. Oh gosh. Okay, if you're not playing this event, please play it now. Look at that. Well played to everyone. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Sweet. Well, I really do like the unknown too. I think we played very well. That's a very good trial. That was fun. Hello again.
I really hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, sorry for the overreaction at the end. I was very excited to see that many blood points. It's been quite some time. I think the mask rated the last time I saw the blood points go up that high up. So very happy about that. But anyway, well played to all the survivors. I think they did amazing. I think it was a very fun trial. They got a lot of gens done, even with me pestering them with Pop Goes a Weasel, me teleporting around, keeping survivors infected with UVX, downing relatively quickly. They all played amazing. I think they were very focused on gens if they weren't in chase and they were focused on helping each other out. I do appreciate all of them at the end for trying to help each other out when it came to, I believe it was Nia. I have a lot of respect for survivors that want to help each other out, especially if they're dead on hook. So again, I appreciate every single one of them for trying. Alrighty, moving on to the next trial. We're going to be on Toba Landing. Survivors in this one played very well. Same thing with the first trial. They all did their best. They all tried to help each other out, and it was very solid overall. So I'm going to be showing off the build again, just as a refresher. So we have Unforeseen, Pop Goes a Weasel, Nowhere to Hide, Rap Brutality. Unforeseen, we transfer our Terror Radius to, onto a generator for 30 seconds, has a cooldown of 30 seconds. Pop Goes a Weasel, after hooking a survivor for 45 seconds, Pop is active for, we kick a gen, it instantly loses 30% progress. Regresses normally after that. Nowhere to hide after kicking a generator. Within 24 meters of the killer, we can see all survivors' auras. And finally, we have rapid brutality. And it's the only time we hit a survivor with a basic attack, we gain 5% haste for 10 seconds. I really do hope I was able to show off how good rapid could be on the unknown in that previous trial. Now moving on to his add-ons, we have the blurry photo and the sketch attempt. The blurry photo, after teleporting, we regain our full movement speed 50% faster, and then the sketch attempt, after hitting a survivor with the UVX blast, they suffer from the oblivious status effect for 20 seconds. And again, that's our build. I really do highly recommend this build a lot. I think it's a lot of fun to use. You have a lot of regression, speed, just information, and also being able to catch survivors off guard. I do like this build a lot, so if you ever have a chance, I do recommend this one for him. Alrighty, again, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Ah, Toba Landing. Actually, not a bad map. There's a lot of crap around, so... It'd be kind of easy for us to bounce things off of, uh, walls and such. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm gonna create a blood pool here, because I don't know what that does. Kind of. I I'm, I'm understanding the event a little bit. Um, I think it's, like, the lunge. Yeah, so basically, you have a coup, essentially, if you did not know. But you're, yeah, as you can tell, it takes me a long time to recover from that, so. That's something to think about as well. But I think, like, the survivors can break these. So it's best in my interest to, like, not really defend them. They're like totems, I guess. In a way. Oh, somebody's already here. Hi, I'm Miss Ward. Can you help me? Oh, Blythe. Uh, bad place to use my ability. Ooh, she's not going to touch the pallet. You had a really good safety, my friend. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the recovery is a bit much. Come on, pick her up, please. Yeah, it takes a while for you to stink and pick them up. So I'm not too sure how worth it it is. Okay, well, I need to teleport. I don't even have a teleport, actually. I need to go back to that gen that's behind me. That one right there. It might get finished, which is fine. Already got a hook off, so I'm not complaining. Ooh, this gen has the most progress, I think. Hi. Hello. How are you? Uh, she doesn't have a make kit, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Okay, he's infected. We got a teleportation set up. Let's just hit him. Come on, go inside there. Ah! Yes! Okay, we'll pick him up. We'll go kick Zarina's gen next. Whoa, Felix, you went flying. What the heck happened there? Okay. Well done. I believe that was Cheryl that did that. Let's go see if we can stop this one from being done. And then we'll apply our... Our, uh... Actually, yeah, yeah, if we could apply our Terry Dis onto here, that'd be perfect. Is anybody nearby? That doesn't look like it. They all healed, so they're probably all together. Yes, there. Yeah, that wasn't gonna hit. That's okay. Oh, I think I just walked right past somebody. Okay. Okay, we got her. That's good. Let's vault over. Oops, she made a little mistake there. Okay, we gotta hook quickly. Oh, I hear somebody behind me. 
so please don't break this hook. Uh, I'll unfortunately have to get rid of my, my uh, duplication, but that's okay. It's not some progress. Hey, Felix. Let's kick it. Sorry, Felix. I gotta go for you, my friend. You're trying your best, though. I appreciate you immediately going on gens right after you get unhooked. They're healing a lot. That's the reason why I'm kind of not playing too nice. I still can't play a lot nicer, though. This has some progress. We're still invisible. Hi. Yeah, way too high. That's interesting. Interesting. You can't look down too much. It's good to know. Do you guys think I... No, I think she'll come back. What happened here with this pallet? Interesting. Actually, it's kind of funny. Us, us wasting time trying to hit her with a really, really cheeky shot kind of helped us out a little bit. Let's go see if this gen has any progress. I don't think it would. And we'll teleport to Shaq. Felix, yeah, you gotta, you gotta take care of yourself, buddy. Let's see if we can get them to stack up. Ooh, we missed. It's okay. Let's go for Felix. Let's see if Cheryl's gonna try to help. She will. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. I don't even want Felix. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, Cheryl. You're very kind, honestly. I really do appreciate it, and I'm sorry to kind of exploit your kindness. You guys still here? No. They left. Take a look here. I don't want to chase Felix again, I'll be honest. I kind of... I do want to play a bit nicer because... I thought I were moving behind me. Playing a... Felix, I got, we got to stop meeting with this, buddy. I'm going to infect you and I'm going to leave you, okay? Is that okay? I, I won't do that, I guess. Okay, I guess it's not okay. <laughs> I just want a hug. It's not that hard to... It's not that bad of a one, is it? Let's go see if we can make a way over here. Um... Oh. Yeah, I did see somebody. Hey, Zarina. Good try. There's somebody behind me, too. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Hi. I don't know if you're dead on hook. I don't think you are. Who haven't I seen? I haven't seen uh, Miss Ward in a minute. Speaking of which, hi. I wonder if you can lunge far with carrying a survivor. You did on hook? I hope not. Okay, you're not. Okay, let's go chase her if we can. Actually, let's go check Shaq. Felix, what is your plan here, my friend? Sure. Good to see you here, too. It's infected. I already forgot. It's Felix. That's not gonna hit. I hear him. Your friends would like to come take hits. That'd be fantastic. Sorry, Felix. Hello. I don't mind chasing you. Be very careful in that. It's kind of like a huntress. Just be very careful. You do have life. Good job. You played that very well. That was awesome. Don't. I know. I was going to say, you, if you have your perk. That's very kind of you, Zarina. I, 
I have no clue where Miss Ward's been. She better be on Jens right now. If not, I don't know what she's up to right now. Oh, I think she's healing, actually. We'll play Zarina. Yeah, she is. Let's chase you now. So the hoping she'll still be there. Ooh. Good job. Well played. Oh, it's fine. I didn't know I seen him put that. That's okay. I forgot about your life. Is it balance, actually? I think it's balance. Possibly. Hello. Let's just hit her. Dang, you almost, you almost made me miss. Oh gosh, were you seeing help because I pull up my ability? Or what was that? That was interesting. You play very well, team or teammate. Never mind, teammate. I'm honestly very surprised I hit her that time. Brick line of sight. Brick line of sight. There we go. Honestly, I missed there. If she would have went to my left, I think I would have missed completely. Well played. Okay, uh, Felix and... Sure, are healed. Okay, they're both healed. Um, it's Jen back there. Let's check here. Nothing here. Let's go here. Hi, Felix. Say, I heard you. Ooh, I was a little bit low. We got a hallucination back there. I was really hoping he was going to drop that. Hi, Cheryl. I need help! Not too sure if that was wise. Ooh, she got rid of it, though, and I missed. Hi, Felix. Do you have, um... You do! I have to wait the timer out. I can wait it out with that, though. She's not turning around, so I'm good. There we are. Well played though, Felix, honestly. Good try. Pretty sure she appreciates you as well. That's a broken hook. Okay. Did I didn't pay, place this one up. Can I break it? Oh, I can. Reclaim droplet. That's really cool. Okay. Um, oh, I hear somebody. Wow, that did not go as high as I thought it would. <laughs> Felix. Oh, that was me. I was like, what the heck am I looking at? Oh, that's where she is. I got a Teradius on that now. I already forgot where Felix was. What is up with this? Is it because of the skin? Felix, you are going flying, my friend. Well played, Felix, honestly. You did your best. Sorry for tunneling you a little bit. Hello. Do you want to give me your flashlight? I'll let you leave. Or I was gonna say, or you could just despawn out of my line of view. It's 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 oh it's over here. It's 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 over here. <laughs> Does she not know it's it's right here. <laughs> I do like that. The lunging is kind of cool. I just think the recovery kind of sucks. But... Ah, one, oh, 115, my favorite number. Hell yeah. My gosh, these points. Well played to everyone. They all played very... Ooh. Blood scene map. Start the... Okay, 20 seconds to use. Start with three objects automatically tracked. I don't have the ability to track objects with any meter range. I don't have the ability to track hatch with any meter range. Holy crap, well, I gotta play Survivor. 
Blood scene map. That's okay. I was wondering why his map looked like that. I thought it was just a texture glitch. I didn't know this even existed, so I think I gotta get the imaging for that. That's really cool. Produces blood pools when used. Okay, so there's a little bit of you know. The aura of injured survivors unlocks the ability to reveal to reveal the aura of injured survivors, especially for yourself, regarding any you, regardless of any map add-ons. Dang. It's like a rainbow map, but like on steroids. That's sick. That's really cool. Okay, I didn't know that this was a thing. I jumped into this very blind. Which I'm okay with. Ooh, autodidact. Uh, Zarina, we did see her life. No clue about blast mine. I don't think we got blast mine once. Uh, Felix, very nice to use empathetic connection. It's a pretty good perk. We did see her for the people in Buckle Up. Uh, adrenaline. I don't, I don't think I said this. Um, apologies for that, but I'll be showing on screen anyways. Uh, she also had it. That was also what I was really worried about. I was really wor I was worried that Serena had it. Um, she did see her light. No clue about DS. Uh, we did see her chemical trap. Uh, what is this one? This one? Troubleshooters. Gabriel's. Most progress. Okay. That's right. That's right. This one's pretty good, actually. Troubleshooter is pretty decent. And we did see her life. I think we did. And we did not see her hope because we didn't get to end game. But what well played, everyone? That was a pretty good trial. I really do like the unknown. He's so much fun. Well, friends, that was both trials. I really hope you enjoyed these ones. The survivors played very well in both of them. I really do appreciate them trying to help each other out, especially when it came to the end of the first trial and the second trial when it came to them trying to keep each other off the ground. I really do appreciate them for trying to get that done. That was a funny sentence. Anyway, I really do like the unknown. I think his ability and just his gameplay loop is so much fun, and it's just it's different every time. Also, playing against him as much as I have recently, he's also a lot of fun to go up against. I do find him very enjoyable to just once you get infected, you have to look back at him and actually try to get rid of your infection. It also adds a lot of difficulty for the survivors to do that because you can like walk into walls and stuff like that, which I have done before. But it kind of uh, if you know the map pretty well, you can kind of like you feel very smart if you're able to keep an eye on the unknown while you're traversing the map. It's very cool. Okay, let's talk about the builds we brought. So for the first trial, we have the Unforeseen. I think it worked out really well. We managed to catch a lot of survivors off guard. We also managed to apply it on a generator six times, which I think is pretty good because the cooldown rate is a little long. And I'm not saying it needs to be like shorter. I hope they don't change it. I think this perk is very strong on its own and I think it does not need to be changed. Next we have Pop. We used it seven times. Same with Nora to Hide. Both those perks worked out really well. I think we maybe got like one use out of Pop that wasn't the greatest, but other than that, I think we got some decent value overall, and then when it comes to nowhere to hide, I think we managed to catch a survivor every single time we used it, maybe except for one time. We were able to know where survivors were that were near a generator, and the best one we got was the Meg that was near that jungle gym when she was hiding behind the wall. We managed to UVX her relatively quickly, injure her, and we got a little greedy on the pallet, but still, without nowhere to hide, we wouldn't know that she was there. Next, we have Rapid. We got 16 uses out of it. Very good. We didn't really rely on Rapid too much either. I think it was kind of a mix when it came to getting UVX downs and getting Rapid hits. So again, I really do suggest using this perk on the unknown just give it a try if you don't like it you can change it out with a perk that you're either more comfortable with or you think that's better for him and i think we used our add-ons really well we did teleport a lot we also did hit survivors a lot with our uvx so that also did help when it comes to the scratch drawing i didn't add value to when i down survivors because it doesn't matter if they're oblivious they're down anyways so it doesn't really mean anything so that's the reason why i didn't add value to that but i did add value when i injured survivors and when i hit them the first time with the uvx Alrighty, moving on to trial two it was actually very similar to trial one we got Almost exactly the same value off of Trial 1, which is funny enough. But the same thing with all the perks. We got really good value off of Unforeseen. We managed to catch a couple survivors off guard. I don't know why I said it like that. Pop Goes a Weasel, we got some pretty good pops off. I think we made like three times. We didn't get that much value off of it. But Nora to Hide definitely did help us out when it came to showing us where survivors were. And Rapid also helped us out with catching a backup in the chase. Because Tobo Landing is a pretty big map. It does have a lot of corners and stuff like that. So I feel if they played around more jungle gyms a lot more and like near like the kind of the safe pallets, not really in towards the middle, uh, I think Rapid would have helped us out a lot more, kind of catch up and kind of like get around corners quick enough so we can shoot our UVX. But still, I think we got some pretty decent value off of it. In this one, I will say I could have teleported a lot more. I just kind of teleported someone infrequently. But I do say if you hook a survivor and you're able to teleport somewhere, I do suggest it. A good example will be us teleporting to Shaq a lot. Because we do know that Shaq was being worked on at least a lot, we did pop it a couple times as well. So it's kind of good just to like have a general basis of where all the survivors are. If you happen to have an hallucination over there, teleport over there as soon as you unhook. Usually check one or two spots before you do that. At least that's what I did in that one. I checked the gen when I hooked, I believe it was Zarina. I hooked Zarina, went to go check the gen that was in the corner, then I teleported to Shaq. And again, our add-ons helped us out when it came to teleporting and keeping survivors oblivious. I don't think the oblivious helped us out too much, but I think it does put a little bit of fear in survivors to say you manage to hit them with a UVX and you do leave them. I think it does add pressure to them because they don't know where you're going. They don't know if you're still being chased or if you're somewhere else. So I think it is still overall helpful. 
And finally, let's talk about the kills that we got. I'm counting that I got two 4Ks because I could have killed both the Sables in both trials, but with how good both trials were and how well they were playing, I wanted to at least reward one survivor because it was good trials. They're both really fun and they all did really well. So, and that's why they're at max value with the three parentheses four and then the survivors I got out one parentheses zero because again, I gave them hatch and the exit gate. And I believe that's the last thing I wanted to talk about. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I want to thank everyone for all the support I got on my pinhead video. I know I kind of took kind of like a mini break and I really do appreciate coming back to everyone being so supportive and everything. It really does mean a lot. I'm very thankful to have this community and I'm very thankful that you're willing to give me the chance to entertain you and, and I really do appreciate everyone wanting to support me and everything. It really does mean a lot. So again, I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. I try to post whenever I can. If you like the video, leave a like, help support the channel. Check out my Instagram, link in description. I just post updates on there whenever I'm uploading and I hope to see all of you in the next one. Stay safe out there, friends.